Well, folks, I know I've not done a video in ages, but here's a new video. I've got to do this one. Um, a so-called guard dog that escaped a tax person in Birmingham. Clearly not a trained guard dog, because a trained guard dog will not uh, will not attack you off its premises. Two, the main thing about this video is save our Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Why is it called the nanny dog? Because it's a mint dog for with kids. It's only down to irresponsible dog owners. It's never the dog's fault, it's always the owner. Inadequate, uneducated, immature ownership. Who know nothing about dog behaviour. Dog language, know nothing. And now they want to put the staff on, uh, on the Dangerous Dogs Act ban. It's utterly disgusting, this. And, and they, folks, this should not be happening, so please... Save our staffs. Let's campaign to save the staffs. This is utterly disgusting. And the girl who got mauled to death in Birmingham. Sorry, but and then what the fuck are you doing in bed at, at two o'clock in the afternoon? Um, when you don't work nights. Um, also, why are you leaving a dog pent up in a house when it's been outdoors most of its life? You rescued it, it's lived outdoors all its life and then you're living it in a house. It's pent up. It gets stressed anxious nervous with being pent up and they it's a joke staffs are known as nanny dogs because they're good at looking after children they're good at protecting children not attacking people so please you've already do you've already to give the american pit bull terrier a bad name and several other good dogs bad names it's not the dog it's the ownership so please will you have some sense people i'm fully blind i own an american bulldog Cross staff. He's a beautiful puppy at the minute. And I've owned American Bulldogs. I've had staffs. My dad's got a staff. They're the most big, soft, gentle giant ever. They're a puppy. All the lives, they're a big, gentle giant of a dog. They're only a medium sized dog. A medium to a medium sized dog. They're beautiful. They're lovely. Temper. The temperament of them is beautiful. Calm, loving nature. All they want is cuddles and kisses all their lives. Proper ownership. Not idiots owning them because idiots give them a bad name and a bad reputation. It's utterly disgusting. So please campaign and save our staffies. It's in Parliament at a minute to see if it gets put in the Dangerous Dogs Act. But please let's save our staffies, Shabal Terriers, folks. It's a British dog for British people. Let's save our staffs. And that's coming from a Muslim man, a fully blind Muslim man. Let's save our staffs. Come on, inshallah. Inshallah, mashallah. Let's save our staff shibbles to the years. Alhamdulillah. Right? Let's save our staff shibbles to the years, folks. Please. Don't let this one, like the idiot government, fucking put it on dangerous dogs act and ruin its reputation because of idiot dog ownership. Let's start putting these idiot dog owners in jail. Let's, anyone who owns a dog, who doesn't know how to control a dog, should be put in jail. They should be chemically neutered themselves. They should be serving time in prison, not the dog. So let's put the people in jail, not the dogs. Let's ban the people, not the dogs. Love dogs, peace and love, woof woof. We'll save our Staffordshire Bull Terriers folks. Peace and love from the Blight Spore 22, 26. Peace out. One love, one heart, one nation folks. Share the love. And as for all these dog thieves out there, this message goes out to you as well. Stop fucking robbing dogs from people who are vulnerable. You're a bunch of thieving little bastards. You're a load of little scumbag. To me, you are on the same level as paedophiles and rapists. Trying, people who tried and rob a blind person with a guide dog. You're disgusting scum. You're the same level as paedophiles and rapists. So, so everyone out there who's robbing dogs, go and fuck yourselves. See them two fingers? Go oh, and fuck you. Right? Because you're scum. You're scum of the earth. Right? Robbing from vulnerable people. People who don't know how to defend themselves or anything. Vulnerable people. You're a disgrace. And you go and dump these dogs off right and centre. And just use them to breeding machines. Well, how about you breed yourself? Shag yourself up the fucking ass. Because you're a bunch of disgraceful, disgusting, low-life scumbags. And it angers me. And I guess it really has become a pandemic of its own, let alone the coronavirus pandemic. And the British government sits there 
pushing their little pens and their silver spoons further up their asses and allowing this, this should not be happening and they need to change the law as a dog at the minute is only seen as as like robbing a, a sweep from a shop it's disgusting a dog is like a human being they should, f f f for, f for the charge of theft of a dog you should be put in prison for a minimum of 10 years like that so and day this is my message out to you please save our Sasha Bull Terriers and stop this dog napping let's stand and fight together let's unite as one and fight together share the love peace out from Blightsboro 2226 peace and love save our staffs save our staffs for Shibble Terriers folks peace and love